Hey guys, and welcome back. I wanted to do another paint and chat video, and I figured for this week, I would talk about this illustration that I just recently finished for an art book and Kickstarter that I am a part of. And a real quick note is that this Kickstarter is still going on right now. There are only, I think, three or four days left to get our project funded. And I would really encourage you to go head over to the link below. If I can get it in the cards, I'll put it up above as well. The primary art book project has over 50, I think closer to like 55 or more artists that have contributed original works. So that means not fan based. These were original ideas and there's a really large variety of both digital and traditional artists. The main theme that we were all creating around were the primary colors. So this is both painting as well as light. And the section that I contributed to is the green section because I paint a lot of green things. <laughs> so I really wanted to do a quick shout out to that project and I was excited that I was able to also film me painting this piece. Head over to the Kickstarter to check out all the details of the ways you can help get this project funded and maybe pick up one of the art books yourself or get a digital copy. Uh, but I will have this piece available in, the, in that book. I did want to mention that I will eventually have this piece available as a print, but I I'm not sure when that's gonna happen. So if you are really wanting to get this piece um, sooner rather than later, your best bet is to pick up the art book and help with the project that this was made for. So now that that's all out of the way, I wanted to jump into discussing a particular topic with you guys while we finish out the rest of this speed paint. And a quick note before I get into the topic is that any and all materials will be listed down below, any art materials I use. So always check the description, especially if you have a question about something I'm using, make sure to check the description um, and see if the information or answer to your question is in there. So today I wanted to talk about saying yes to art opportunities or opportunities to create more artwork or get your artwork out in front of more eyeballs and gain an audience and things like that. And I wanted to talk about this because I was thinking a lot about how cool it was to be a part of this art book. And the only reason I was able to be a part of a project like this is I was in a Facebook group for artists and they did a call for artists for this book and I got my stuff together and I applied for it and was accepted to it. And that may seem like really straightforward and easy to do, but going through being a part of this group and having that opportunity to even see that this book existed uh, was some work that I had to put in. And there are opportunities like art books and other work you can get all over. In school, I feel like we're taught to sort of pick something we're interested in to major in in college or to pursue as a career. And you just kind of move up the ladder and you move from company to company. And that's how you sort of progress in your work. 
Well, for artists and a lot of creatives, this is not really how things work. You really have to go find opportunities and these sorts of resources and things aren't going to come knocking on your door. Something like this art book or other creative opportunities, you have to go out and look for and not only find them, but have the courage to actually apply for them, maybe even take a risk and not get paid for certain projects. I want to make a really quick note on that front. I don't believe you should just accept real work for clients all the time with the promise of exposure. Um, I think we've all seen those memes of the uh, Oregon Trail, um, you died of exposure <laughs> as an artist. You obviously need to get paid work, but I do believe, especially when you're starting out, there are lots of opportunities that may not pay fully for the work that you're doing, but can honestly get you a lot of recognition and can help you grow as an artist. So there's more to just getting paid for a job, um, especially when you are constantly trying to develop your skills and work on getting better and you're possibly even trying to break into a particular field or a particular kind of creative job or business. And so while I do think it's really important to not just work for free all the time because that's obviously not going to help anyone, it's not going to help people value your work and it's not going to pay your bills, I do believe that there are some risks and chances you can take, especially toward the beginning of your career, to work with the expectation of getting possibly paid a little bit of money from a Kickstarter like this or something like that, but looking at it as something you can add to your portfolio that is the type of work you really want to get paid full time to be doing. I think it's really important for you to keep the goal of where you want to be going with your art career as well as what skills do you want to develop when looking for resources and various opportunities like something uh, like an art book or something like that. Whatever sort of odd job or little art job here or there, if you are going into it feeling like you're actually going to be growing as an artist and you have something for your website or portfolio that you can either continue to sell because you still own rights to it or it's something that you're very proud of and is something you really enjoyed, and want to show potential clients in the future that this is the work you want to be doing full time, then that be extremely valuable. Even if the job itself, the original purpose of the artwork might not be getting paid a ton of money or even enough for the work that you're putting in. So where do you find opportunities like this? Like I mentioned, I was able to join this Kickstarter because I was a part of a Facebook group that is for artists that all mostly do artist alleys and things like that and are looking for art opportunities. And people that are in there are other artists and it was other artists that put together this project. I know there's a lot of other opportunities and call for artists on Tumblr and Twitter and things like that and I really encourage you to take a step maybe out of your comfort zone to try to apply to some of these if it matches up with the type of work that you want to be doing full time that you think will help you grow as an artist. I hope that this was sort of a helpful, maybe encouraging talk, <laughs> but that was just something that I was thinking about when I was working on this piece that I was really thankful that I was a part of this project. It is something I'm really proud of 
and it took me out of my comfort zone a little bit and I'm really happy to have this in my portfolio and I feel like it's a good representation of how I've been growing as an artist and where I want to be looking next in my career. Being able to work alongside all these other artists has been a phenomenal experience. And just a quick reminder here at the end, make sure to look down in the description and check out this Kickstarter. There are so many phenomenal artists. Please go share this information and support if you can. I would be so grateful for you guys to go check it out. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you let me know in the comment section, like the video so you, I know to make more things like this. And if you're interested in sticking around, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell if you don't want to miss anything. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, I hope you have a creatively fulfilled day. Bye, guys.